G7 group of the United States, Japan, Germany, France, Britain, Italy, and Canada just wrapped up a meeting in June of 2022. Is the G7 forcing the big four Japanese motorcycle builders into the sunset? Stay tuned. An article by Dustin Whelan from Ride Apart just reported that the worldwide emission regulations were impacting the Japanese motorcycle industry. That the Japanese media outlet Nikkei, Nikkei reported that Honda, Yamaha, Kawasaki, and Suzuki will eliminate 10% of their 190 models offered by the Big Four. Honda alone will close the books on 10 out of 80 models, including the iconic CB4 Super 4. Big Red has also been rumored to have the Gullwing variants and the Bentley scooter on the, on the chopping block. Honda isn't the only one trimming bikes from the lineup. Yamaha expected to retire the FJR 1300. Suzuki could potentially discontinue five models. The Japanese firms could offer non-compliant models in less restrictive markets. But the industry transitioning sustainable energy resources, it's hard to envision that brands committing resources to such an effort over the long haul. Said that Honda is currently aims to electrify by 2040. Yamaha has similar in intentions with the goals of carbon neutrality by 2050. Em emission standards aren't the only, aren't the only catalyzers, however. The, the ongoing supply chain slowdowns, resource shortages also push the big four to consider for more electric motorcycle and scooters. Many manufacturers fashion robust catalytic converters to reduce CO2 emissions. Unfortunately, the prices for the rare materials to use for catalytic converters has spiked recently, making the development and production even more challenging. The Big Four compromises 40% of the worldwide motorcycle supply. Scrapping 20 models could have a ripple effect in the market while speeding up the transition to electric and alternative fuels. About the same time, Goldwing Docs YouTube channel here reported that the Goldwing Riders Association, founded in 1977, was closing down after 45 years. They had their last what they call a wing ding uh, this year. They had over 72,000 U.S., Canadian, and international members in 800 chapters. So no more Goldwing Riders Association. That's significant, folks. Previously, the G7 had made a commitment to cease and halt financing of international fossil fuels by the end of 2022. Also had a commitment to make all zero vehicles zero emissions by 2030. Now let's look at a couple of interesting things that came out of the G7 applicable to the emissions and climate issues. Climate activists reacted with dismay on Tuesday by the decision of the D G7 leaders. Perhaps it was prompted by the energy crisis resulting from the war in Ukraine to grant, to grant a host of st uh, stays and exceptions to the climate protection goals that they had previously set themselves. The group of seven democracies allow themselves some leeway to continue using non-offset fuel, fossil fuel investments in exceptional circumstances, despite their earlier commitment to end public support of them by 2022. Drop the commitment to making half the all vehicles zero emissions by 2030, falling from pressure from Japan, replacing it with a vaguer promise to significantly increase their sales. I don't know what that means. The seven leaders announced a climate club, oh boy, to coordinate actions on tackling climate changes and achieving climate neutrality by 2050, but gave a few details on what they would do despite acknowledging 
that the existing efforts did not go far enough. The G7 democracies are also pushing for acknowledgement of the need for new financing for fossil fuels investments, two sources said Sunday as the Europeans scramble to diversify supplies. That sounds like a cover-up. Delegations at the annual G G7 are debating whether such acknowledgement can maybe be compliant with the, with the commitment some countries made to halt financing of international fossil fuels in 2022. I bet they find a way to do it. It is possible there will be wording in the declaration that investment for fossil fuel energy should be possible for a certain time. I think this kind of sums up their 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 uh, grasp of reality in right now when they said it's about the it's about the question how do we achieve a climate transition despite using gas to, as a bridging form of energy and how can we ensure this isn't used as an excuse to soften climate goals said a German official well you gotta have a bridge don't you I mean if you destroy the only bridge you have before you build a new one, it doesn't seem like it's going to work. This plan? Russians don't take a dump sign without a plan. What is a plan? Don't start something this serious without a plan. Only thing you're going to do is make everything worse. It's obvious the Japanese are moving towards the electric bikes. The problem is, do they have a long enough lead time to get there, or will they just say, eh, it's more profitable for us to make cars, boats, pianos, and whatever. What do you think? Join me and my friends at Flat Cap Cafe Racer for riding and racing. Please subscribe.